He's dead. That's right, guys. If you guys haven't already guessed by the amazing entrance slash intro, we are going to be reviewing this Lego Star Wars Sith Trooper Battle Pack set number 75266. And it has one in 105 pieces and four minifigs. Pretty good for a battle pack. Um... While opening this, uh, while opening this, I did kind of damage it, so, oops on that part, but, you know, still pretty cool, and, yeah, let's get right into the review. Okay, so, to start off, we're gonna kind of look at the box art, so you got that nice, clean box art with the two jetpack troopers, the nice, kind of black outline with the Kylo Ren, and just whatever copyright stuff. At the actual size, supposedly, I'll be going over something like this later. That's a sneak peek of later videos. And here is the back. Kind of shows, like, A, you could have them just out, I guess. I might do a video on that, too. Some other, you know me, I've if you've been around the channel, I've done some set uh, upgrades so let's start on the build. I'm just gonna kind of quickly overview the build right here. We got a nice kind of land speeder. Can fit um, three people, two sitting down and one gunner. So if you want to, you could have two sitting down just like this and a gunner. But what they have in the thumbnail, not thumbnail, but the uh, box art is they have him controlling that and then this Sith Trooper just gunning. So yeah, we got all that, and then the bottom, of course, kind of some slopes, and then a clear kind of round thing. I, I don't know the technical term for that, but honestly, a really good speeder. Uh, now let's move on to the minifigures. Okay, to start off the minifigures, we have this kind of just commander guy. Um, Lieutenant or something. I think this is the first... I don't know, we might, this might be a new torso. I really like the, it's not like a, just an angry clone head. So yeah, just plain black legs, nice red. Nice, very nice. And they have some sort of symbol right here. Don't know what that is. Uh, that might be an Easter egg or something, I have no clue. Here's the back. No side arm printing, no, no arm printing or side leg printing. So now let's move on to a Sith Trooper with no jetpack. Um, he just looks like a normal, in my opinion, a red First Order Trooper. And that's basically what he is. But a little more detail, actually. Um, you can see the helmet is nice, a, this really nice uh, red kind of darkish red um this kind of looks like a uh, captain uh cardinal or whatever i know he has like a black series helmet that you can buy but yeah nice very nice minifigure i'll let you take a look at that for a little just a nice nice printing night this is probably one of my favorite first order troopers and then we have no arm printing, black hands, which is not to the normal First Order Trooper. They have white hands, but it makes sense because it makes it stand out a little more. No side leg printing. I don't know if they've ever done that. I just say no to that. Um, Then we got the back of this dude. So it's actually pretty cool. You can see a little of his head, which is kind of annoying. And then, you know, just the angry clone head. And then we moving on to the jetpack troopers. I accidentally knocked that dude's helmet off. So these guys are hmm, not my favorite minifigure. Minifigures just cause you know like mm, they're not really they don't stick good. The helmets don't. So yeah, I mean and like when you look at the side and you can see most of the head. I mean you could see like some of the head from if you looked at it different. Oh, but overall, I really like the jetpack. If you look at that, uh, we'll remove that for the back. But here's the front. 
the same legs as the normal Sith Trooper, but different torso, which I like, personally. And then the detail, I really like the detailing on the helmet, don't get me wrong, but it's just not my favorite. No arm printing and no side leg printing. And then we got the jetpack. And this isn't like all made of pieces. Ouch. It isn't all one piece either. So it's this one thing that you can put like a stud back. So I think that's actually a really cool um, jetpack. I think this is a really good jetpack. So, you know, classic angry clone face. Then the back is uh, definitely different compared to the, um, the normal Sith Trooper. So yeah. So yeah, I guess let's get on to the tallying of the set. So if you guys don't know, and if this is like your second video and you haven't seen a review on my channel, this is the review chart 1 to 10. So we have playability 1 to 10, design 1 to 10, strength 1 to 10, cool factor 1 to 10, Mini figures 1 to 10 and rarity 1 to 10. I will be rating all these 1 to 10 through what I personally think. You may have a different opinion and if this set is a very recommended set. So playability wise, I wouldn't say much, but you can kind of just zoom around. You know, I, know, I remember when I was a kid, I had the Kashyyyk Battle Pack. Um, this. Um, I rebuilt it and modified it check out that video on my channel but i remember playing around for like at least an hour with that that and the minifigures so really i mean a nice kind of speeder with a cannon too not a cannon but uh yeah a cannon you can like act like you're controlling so p playability and the you have these the playability kind of i guess it's like playability pistols I, that's what I'm gonna call them. They're new pistols. I I don't have anything wrong with them. I do think they ha look a little bulky though, compared to the normal like the default blaster. But you know, so playability wise, I'll rate a six. Just because it's probably not the max playability, but it's pretty good. Design. I mean, this isn't supposed to be you know a very design filled set, but I'll give it a four. Because that's not including the minifigures. Because they're, they're the whole thing for minifigs. Strength. This thing is actually pretty strong. Like, I don't really have trouble, like, it falling apart or anything. So, um, yeah. That's why Battle Pack uh, little builds, they're usually decently strong. So, they don't, like, just break apart on you. So, I'll rate that a 8. Just because it could be a little stronger. Because of this comes off sometimes so yeah then cool factor this is just rating the set cool factor that'd be a four for me i don't think it's the coolest build but it's a decent build for a battle pack like i said now we got the minifigs since this is a battle pack they have a good minifigure selection um so i'm gonna rate this minifig this is actually my first rating for minifigures so I did, if you guys hadn't watched uh, the other video where I was like, hey, I should do a whole section for minifigures, I did that. So, four minifigures, which is good. I really like that. Um, The detailing on them, overall, I mean, like, it's a good army builder. And so, I'm going to rate this, like, an eight minifigs. Uh, eight for the minifigs, meaning it's a good thing. And then rarity. Rarity's not that high. I'll just say a two. Just because it might be out of stock and that stuff. So, yeah. I'll tally up the score and get right back to score. You and it is 32. So, yeah. Honestly, this is a really good set. Um, I really like it. I think it is probably the best uh, first order army builder. Just, I mean, I guess if you're... There was an older one. And I did get that one. I got it... I only got one of them, though. It was good, but I think this one is more unique. Probably the best Sith Trooper. I, I don't think there's ever been other Sith, troop, Sith Troopers. So, yeah. They'll, that'll be about it 
thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already and you're new and you enjoy this content or stuff like this, uh, let me down down in the comments. And if you're new, like and subscribe. And oh, and any if you want like any other things you want me to review or something you have an idea for, feel free to like speak up. Cause in the comment section, cause I really like I really would love you guys' feedback and stuff. So yeah, see you guys next video.